Hi, Maria here from Creativity Hero channel. In this video I'll show you how I made an exploding sun lamp out of styrofoam and optical fibers. The lamp might seem a bit complicated at first glance, but it is actually a very simple project that can be done in a day. Also, it requires just a few basic tools that everyone has at home, so I encourage you to follow my instructions and make your own outstanding piece of art. Now let's get started. For this project, I used a styrofoam sphere with 20 cm diameter. It consists of two halves, which is exactly what I need. This socket needs to be placed in the center of one half of the sphere, hence I need to make a hole to fit it in. The diameter of the socket is around 40 mm, but I couldn't use the socket itself to draw a circle, because it is bell-shaped and it is much wider on the end. Luckily, the electrical tape that I have has exactly 40 mm diameter, so I took it to outline the circle. The opening I made with a utility knife, which works pretty well on styrofoam. I tried to follow the line very carefully, making sure I don't remove more than I needed. The opening perfectly fits the socket, and now I can move on to the next step. Here I have around 100 meters of optical fibers that need to be inserted into the sphere. But first, I'll use a medical needle to make tiny holes into the styrofoam in order to be able to insert the fibers easily. I made as many holes as possible on both halves of the sphere. The hub of the needle served as a handle, thus it was very easy to make those holes. Be sure to check out the video description where you can find links to all the tools and materials needed for this project. Once I'm done with the holes, I need to attach magnets to the sphere to keep the two halves together. Instead glue, I decided to use magnets because that way I can easily remove one half of the sphere and replace the bulb if needed. I have four neodymium magnets with size 20 by 10 by 4 mm. They are pretty large, so I'll attach them vertically, which means they'll attract each other with the smallest surface of 10 by 4 mm. The neodymium magnets are very strong and they'll hold the two halves together pretty well. To attach the magnets onto the styrofoam, I used 5 minute epoxy. But if you choose different type of glue, you might want to taste it first, because it can melt or dissolve the styrofoam. Also, when gluing the magnets, make sure they attract each other on both sides. Now it is time to make the sphere more vibrant by adding some color to it. At first, I wanted to spray paint the sphere, but after spraying a scrap piece of styrofoam, I noticed that it started to melt. That's why I went with acrylic paint and combined white as a primary color with a few drops of yellow and red tint in order to get a color that will remind of the sun. While the paint was drying, I continued with the optical fibers. I cut different lengths of the fibers with scissors, the shortest are 5 cm and the longest are around 60 cm. This will actually give the effect of explosion of the sun. Before I started inserting the fibers, I noticed that I actually needed more holes into the foam, therefore I took the needle and made a bunch of other random holes. This additional step didn't affect the color at all. Now I can move on to the most time-consuming part of the project, which is inserting the fibers into the holes. This type of optical fibers perfectly transmits the light from one end of the fiber to the other. It took me around 2 hours to finish this step. To keep the fibers in place, I applied hot glue onto the fibers inside the sphere. I used toothpick to apply a small amount of hot glue on each fiber. This also gave the hot glue time to cool down just a little, because when applied directly it melts the fibers. You need to be very careful here and avoid applying glue directly onto the end of the fiber, since you don't want to prevent the light transmission. Next I moved on to the socket. 
I cut around 20 cm cable and removed 2 cm of the jacket with a utility knife. I used wire strippers to remove the insulation off of the ends of the wires. Then I attached the wires into the socket interior and screwed on the shell. I chose warm white LED light bulb. It is very important to use LED bulb because it produces very small amount of heat. Now that I am done assembling the parts, I can mount it onto the ceiling. Finally, I can attach the other half of the sphere, turn the light on and enjoy the mesmerizing beauty of the lamp. This is very simple and unique project which can be used both indoors and outdoors. There are no limits on how you can make this lamp. You can use larger or smaller sphere, you can add more optical fibers, you can even change the color of the sphere and of the lights, it's all up to you. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell to never miss another video. Bye and see you in the next one!